and gentlemen, we're doing another not so entertaining but very educational video for the math class. So we uh, we were unsuccessful in the first take. So this is take two. Number two is always the best. So here we go. Got a number line here. First, what we did, we created a line we made a zero. Then we put the positive 20, the negative 20. Then we put in our benchmarks 10, 5, 15, negative 10, negative 15, negative 5. And we approximated the rest. And first we looked at an example, we went right to the top. You should have in your book 2.3 adding integers on the number line. Open right now. Put your finger on it right there. Oh, I can see you in YouTube line. You can put your finger on it. Yeah, that's better. Well done. And now that you've got it, you, know, you guys think I'm nuts. This is positive 4 plus positive 2. Starts at the 0, goes to the 4. Then two more, positive four, positive two, equals positive six. Oh, I wrote positive six, positive two, and we're at positive six. There's a second way to do it, though. You can just start at four, add two, and that's showing. So this is positive four plus positive two. Two ways. So now we're doing this example, and you guys had a minute to take a look at your boards. Let's see your boards. I want to see it. Draw some arrows. Where can you start? Okay, pause for a moment in the video, please. All right, welcome back. We've had a minute for our students to take a look at some of this. I find it really interesting some of the things we have. A lot of you started pointing first at the negative 2 and then pointed at the positive 3. Some of you went down and up. But I'm going to draw your attention here first. Take a look at my thermometer. Whenever I think integers, number lines, I think thermometers, they're just easier. So I'll just wait for everyone's eyes so I can get your eyes on my thermometer. Thank you. So if I said that it was negative two degrees and then it warmed up by three degrees, what temperature is it now? Plus one. Plus one. But I could also say if the temperature went down two degrees, it was at zero, went down two degrees, then it went up two degrees. What temperature is it now? Zero. Up, it started at zero, down two degrees, and went up three degrees. Oh, plus one, plus one. Plus one still, yeah. So this represents that question, but also this represents that question where we just start at the negative two. So let's show it that way. Let's see. Let's try first going from zero, negative two. What is zero in on that? and then positive three. Where did I get to? Positive one. positive one. Or I could just show it as start at negative two, positive three. Did, did some of us get to the maybe on that a little bit? Are we getting to the maybe? I think a lot of us are here now. We're getting to the maybe, a couple of this. All right, so let's move on to the next example. Let's take a look at the textbook. Let's see what they think. And Mr. Camera Guy, can you actually zoom right in on their example right here? And you'll see that it matches very closely to what we had. So in the first example, they said, okay, well, let's go start at zero, minus two, plus positive three. And then this kid did it a different way. He started at negative two and just added positive three. And that's all the same, same question that we just did. And Mr. Camera Guy, if you can come on over here, that's what we did here. Start at negative two, up positive three. Or we could say from zero, minus two, positive three. Here we can say start at negative two, positive three. Or we could say start at zero, negative two, positive three. So you're just going left or right. If it's a positive integer, it's going left. If it's a negative integer, it's going right. Or you can do up and down. Let's look at another example, because right now we're kind of getting it, but we're not quite sure. So here's an example, and if I could get camera to zoom in, where we're now looking at a thermometer again. So I want you to erase your board for a moment, erase the whole thing. And what I'm going to challenge you to do, I'm going to kind of block some of the rest of this, unless you're reading it on my shirt. And we're going to see if you can guess what the numbers are here. So, uh, Mr. Camera Person, you'll have to zoom in a little tight to it so that kids at home can see. It's on page 61 if you've got the textbook. So I notice there's a red arrow 
It says negative 5, and that arrow seems to start on positive 10, 11, positive 12. Can you write the number sentence for this integer, the number sentence? So that means I want like a positive something plus positive something or a negative something plus. So I want you to see if you can figure it out. It starts on positive 12 and it goes negative 5. All right, so Mr. Camera Guy, can we pause for just a moment while we think about this one? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we, we had looked at this, we saw it started on a positive 12, and then there was a negative 5 arrow that went down. So let's see, uh, Mr. Guy, Mr. Guy, Miss Lady, Miss Lady, if you want to show yours to the board there, show it up, just show it to YouTube land there. There we go. So we got positive 12 plus negative 5. So now put that down. Okay, so a lot of us started here. Where are you feeling right now? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Yeah, okay, I'm seeing some thumbs up. I like it, I like it. Okay, so let's look at the next example in the book. And then I think we're almost open shut here. Yeah, let's see. This one here says expenses. Money. Money, yeah. If something costs me money, is that up or down? Uh, down. Down. down and spending. Spending the allowance. So spends five bucks, plus spends five bucks, plus spends five bucks. How much did I spend? Minus 15 bucks. But then there's income. What's income? <gasps> tax. Oh, not income tax. Oh, I see where you're going with that. Income. Incoming. Money to me. Grandma gave me a birthday check. And because I write in cursive, I know how much it is. <laughs> She wrote me a $9 check. And then Grandpa didn't know Grandma wrote a check, so he wrote me a $9 check. Shh. Tell him. So all together I got 18 bucks. Wait, so how much do I have now? If I, how much did I start with? Because I spent five bucks, spent five bucks, spent five bucks. I got nine bucks, I got nine bucks. Here's my number line. You start at the zero. There's my expenditures, minus 15, plus positive 18. Where am I ended up? Right at three. So I'll do that again. I got my zero minus 15 bucks because there was minus five bucks, five bucks, five bucks, plus nine bucks, plus nine bucks, three dollars. Still up. I still have enough for a Slurpee at the gas station, no problem. What do they charge for Slurpees now? Like one dollar. How much for the big Slurpee? Like two dollars. Yeah. When I was your age, I could get one for 65 cents. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> can you just be like true story big bang but then usually they were more like a dollar so that's just when they were on sale i had to ride my bike like three miles to get the 65 cent ones okay i think we're getting into it when you look down at the practice here's what you got to do first go like one a b two a b three a b and you ask yourself am i in the know am i good am i thumbs up if you're thumbs up start taking it all down if you're not thumbs up then you say, hands up, you can talk to me. You talk to this guy, you talk to an EA in the room, you go and talk to a grade eight. You watch the video again. Go to math and go to mom and dad, go to your older brother and sister. Just don't do nothing, don't do nothing. Try it out and we'll get you there. And don't be afraid to ask a question. I'm only gonna say that I respect you for asking that question and I look forward to helping you. So thank you YouTube land, we'll see you later and uh, have fun mapping it up. Thank <laughs> you.